Hey, hey, hey. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I can't move this fridge, and it has nothing to do with its weight. And I'm going under today's science file. And today's science file, it says, What is friction? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a tinfoil box. Today, I am going to show you a frickin' trick. No, no, wait, no. I mean, I mean I'm going to show you a friction trick. Of course, it could, you know, it could be a frickin' friction trick. Say that three times fast. Frickin' friction frick. What? <laughs> I'm going to show you how to challenge your friends to do something that seems like it's so simple, but yet they're still not going to be able to do it. So, get yourself a tinfoil box and get rid of the tinfoil inside. Oh yeah, by the way, you can fold your flap over inside the box. See, I got I to gotta fold my flap over to block the company's name because see, Google throws a five-year-old tantrum at me every time I, you know, put little snippets of comments. Okay. You're gonna take the tinfoil box and place the middle of the box on one of your friend's fingers. Then you're gonna challenge your friend to slide the box off with their other finger. And no, you can't push it off. And no, you can't slide and use inertia. You gotta, you gotta slide it off with your finger like this. <laughs> I can't do it. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'll get, I'll get, what? <laughs> oh, no. Now that's pretty wicked cool. You can't do it. So why can't you slide the box off your finger? And what does this have to do with friction? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Friction is a force that keeps still objects motionless and slows down moving objects. You might think when you see a smooth object like the cardboard box or even your finger that these objects are perfectly smooth, but when we look at these objects close up with a microscope, we find that all objects are not perfect, but instead have microscopic bumps, ridges, and valleys. The cardboard box and your finger also have these microscopic bumps, ridges, and valleys. When the bumps, ridges, and valleys of the cardboard box and your finger come in contact with each other, they catch on each other and this prevents the box from moving across your finger. Since your other finger doesn't create enough force to overcome the bumps, ridges, and valleys, the box doesn't move. The more bumps, ridges, and valleys an object has, the more friction there will be between two objects. An object's weight can also create more friction because the weight squeezes two objects closer together, meaning you need to have more force to overcome the bumps, ridges, and valleys. You might think that friction is a bad thing, but without friction, you wouldn't be able to walk, ride your bike, or even drive a car. So now you know that I can't move this fridge because of friction. You know, challenging your friends to a friction trick they can't do is why science is so cool.